So a few years ago, um, I picked up one of these knives because I was uh, like super into the idea of these like super basic knives like the open L and stuff with, you know, and carbon steel definitely makes me happy. So I bought this uh, Sword Peasant knife, which is this very large uh, friction folder with this really thin, slicey, like flat ground, uh, some sort of tool steel carbon blade. These were made in New Zealand. New Zealand. I'm, I suck at pronouncing that. Um, and you know, pretty, pretty cool knife. Easy to open one-handed. Um, it's kind of hard to show because of the massive size of this one. But it is pretty easy to open one-handed. Gigantic handle. This knife would be a great knife um, if you were working all day uh, with a knife because the handle is very comfortable. Um, but it is pretty big and kind of unsightly to carry. Um, so for a little while now, I've actually wanted one of these. Um, and the packaging for these is really cool, I think. Um, you know, you get your Sford Peasant knife, some other stuff, you know. Um, little picture of a, like, uh, maybe like a vagabond or something. Some sort of caricature of, uh, somebody there. Uh, kind of cool little, like, uh, drawing. And, you know, here, made in New Zealand. Um, yeah, so open this here. And this is the Sword Mini Peasant, which is quite a bit smaller than the full-size Peasant, as you can see here. Um, this one's in blue. Um, I do like colorful knives. Um, still plenty big enough to get, you know, four fingers on and get a good hold. And everything, the blade's slightly smaller, I think by maybe an inch. Um, when I say slightly, yeah, inch, half inch, uh, smaller, like cutting edge. Not a big deal. Um, on this one, they did like stamp made New Zealand, New Zealand. I'm going to stop trying to pronounce New Zealand, New Zealand, because I, I suck at it apparently. Um, but still your plastic handles. I don't know. I know the bigger ones are available in like a metal handle and I think a wood handle. I don't know if the minis are. I assume they probably are. But I just wanted the, the basic plastic handle because it's, you know, comfortable and everything. And this is always such a simple knife that if I wanted to make handles for this, I probably could. Um, if I was going to make handles, I'd probably go micarta, not wood or steel or whatever, or metal. Um, but you got your, you know, your little extended tang that sticks out that you can just grab with your finger and open it one-handed and then when you're holding the knife if you hold it like this your thumbs over the uh, extended tang piece and helps keep the blade open if you're holding it like this once again your hand is helping keep the blade open um, so you don't really need a lock with a knife like this or a spring or anything um, cool little knife design uh, like I said these are in some sort of uh, tool steel, carbon steel thing, uh, sword stamped on the blade, they never bothered to polish it, so it's still got like the heat scale on a part of the blade, which is pretty cool, um, you won't get that for, for most budget knives, the only other knife that I can think of, uh, folding knife that does that is the North, Northwoods folders, and obviously they're really expensive, um, slip joint knives. Uh, but you get the, you know, cool look of the polished blade and then the heat scale still left on it. Uh, these are like $20 knives and for the price you pay for them, this is like a super usable little, uh, pocket knife that's going to be legal, like pretty much anywhere in the world. Like I can't imagine somewhere where this wouldn't be legal because this one is small enough, uh, that the blade's under three inches, um, and it's a friction folder. So I can't imagine anywhere where you wouldn't be okay to carry this knife um except for you know if for some reason your city or local uh ordinance or whatever uh just doesn't want you carrying a pocket knife at all like the city of philadelphia apparently does uh which is wild but um yeah so this is the, the just the sword mini in uh the blue uh, i'm pretty happy with this little knife i like it uh Pretty much as much as I like this one, except for I'll actually be able to carry this one more frequently because it's not gigantic like the 
the full size one. Um, and I do like the blue. These come in a variety of colors. There's like a pink, a blue, a white, a yellow, a green, and black, I think. And I think that's all the colors they come in. I might be missing one, but they do come in a variety of colors. Um, this time I decided to go for the blue. Last, when I got the full size one, I got the green. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with this little knife. This will almost definitely get carried more than I carried the full size one just because this uh, feels ridiculous in your pocket and this is more along the size of like a regular pocket knife like the uh, Naif's Lander here or let me hold up like a in the pocket knife. Well, this is kind of extreme. Let me grab like, what do I have in my pocket? I think I have the Ohio River Jack in my pocket. So let me compare it to that. So this is compared to like the Ohio River Jack. So you can see it's not that much bigger. Uh, and of course it's very lightweight since it's mostly plastic. Um, so a much more um, carryable option for this Ford Peasant knife. Um, and I will probably carry this one quite a bit because I've always liked the design and I like, I really do like these simple knives like this. Like this one, the uh, Peasant knife and like the Open L's are always really cool to me. Because both of them can be had for under $20. Both are really simple designed and, bo and both are really uh, good pocket knives as far as I'm concerned. Um, so if you're looking for a affordable knife uh, that you can carry pretty much anywhere. Or if you were like me and you just like trying new things. Uh, maybe you want to try out a friction folder um, or something. Check out these Ford Mini Peasants. I think they're great for the like $20 that they cost. And you can get them on Amazon and uh, two-day prime shipping. So that's always a plus. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video on this Ford Mini Peasant. Um, I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.